Hi, it's Alex here from WPEagle.com and in this tutorial we're going to be installing Google Analytics onto our WordPress website so that we can track visitors, find out where they're coming from and generally get some insights into what's happening on our website. So let's begin. Okay, so we're back on our WPEagle.com test site. Um, this is where I've been uh, doing all the tutorials and I'm going to be building it up over time um, and you can obviously see how I do that through this series of videos. Right, the first thing you're going to need is uh, a Google Analytics account. So you need to head over here, which is, uh, I'm on google.co.uk slash analytics, but if you're um, somewhere else, it'll probably be google.com. Uh, just go to your local Google and search for Google Analytics and you'll find it. Uh, so if you've already got an account, you don't need to go any further, but if you need an account, we'll just quickly do that now. So click create an account. And then if you've got a WordPress, uh, sorry, a Google account, you need to enter it here. Uh, and then once you get in, uh, you can start setting up Google Analytics. So let's click sign up. And here you need to enter your website name. So I'm just going to call it test, uh, sorry, WP Eagle test. And the URL of this website is test.wpeagle.com. It's technology. Select your time zone. Uh, let's give it a name. This is for your account. Now within an account you can have multiple websites so probably give your account name something more general and then you can share some information if you want. Accept the agreement and you're all done. Now this is a tracking code that's going to you need to add to, our, uh, add to your WordPress website but uh, I'm going to show you how you can do it without adding any code uh, using a plugin. So now you need to go and log into your WordPress site if you're not really logged in. I'm back in the dashboard of the WP Eagle test site. And what I'm going to do now is install a plugin that will allow me to set up the Google Analytics that we've just um, created and allow me to connect that account to the site basically. So if you go to plugins and then click add new, if you do a search for Google Analytics, uh, you'll find loads of different plugins that should help you achieve uh, what you're looking to achieve. My favorite is Google Analyticator. Um, it works, it's stable, I find it quite easy to use, so if you just click install, it also brings some data back from analytics into your WordPress dashboard, which is pretty cool. So that's now installed and activated, so what we need to do now is authenticate, so all you need to do is simply click there, make sure that you are logged into WordPress, uh, sorry, into Google, and click allow access, it gives you this code which you need to copy and paste, and you copy it there, paste it here, click save and continue. And there it is. If you have more profiles, there'll be an option to select it. So now all we need to do is click Enable to turn on the plugin. Um, you can obviously play with these settings, basically, whether you want to track logged in users, um, who you don't want to track. Obviously, if you're logged into the site, you probably don't want to track yourself, otherwise it's going to skew your stats. So, you know, maybe don't, log, uh, don't track administrators. Outbound link tracking is very useful if you're an affiliate, because you can see how many clicks are leaving your site across your affiliate links. And there's a whole host of other stuff that um, it's pretty easy to set up if, you, you know, if you've got Google AdSense on your site, enter your ID here and you can get some information when the accounts are linked. Okay, well that's all done. Let's click Save Changes and that should be fine. Now if we pop back to Google Analytics, uh, this page here, uh, you see it says Tracking Not Installed. Now it said that obviously before we've done what we've just done with the plugin. So if I refresh that, hopefully it should say that it's uh, it's installed and it does. So we're all done. And then within a few hours, you'll start to get some statistics coming through to your Google Analytics account. I hope you found this one useful. If you've got any comments um, or questions, leave them in the comments box. And obviously subscribe for more videos. And I'll see you soon.